Welcome to another viewing experience in the world of jewelry repair, redesign, restore, refurbish, restyle, or rethink. In this particular presentation, we're doing something a lot different. Uh, what we've done for your viewing pleasure is that we've taken two levels or two types of technology and merged them together. On the left side, you can see that we actually have a ring from a top-down view that we actually will be designing from. And on the right side, we have the original ring from a side angle that's actually being camera shot live. So the right side is all live video streaming. So we're merging those two together so it gives the viewer a better experience on how we design. From that, let me give you a little bit of the backstory on this particular client. She has been a customer of ours for quite a while and she is uh, having an event in her life that's very important and she'd like to be able to commemorate that event with something that is um, very special to her and that is, is that she would like to take her wedding set that she's had for quite a long time that she adores and she wants to add to it. Um, in most cases uh, most of our clients that want to be able to add to their wedding rings or wedding sets really just want to be able to just do that. They just want to add to it so that it looks either fuller or more enhanced. It could be just a band or it could be something with accent stones. In this case, her husband actually started all of this in motion by suggesting that she take his diamond wedding band that he no longer wears, shame on him, and to use it in the development of another accent band that would go on the opposite side of her wedding band. And as you can see, the design itself is actually a nice one. It's more organic, uh, more sculptural, and it fits quite nice up against each other. This part is actually the band, and this part here is the engagement piece where the diamond is actually held. This diamond is about a three-quarter carat, and it does need some work, and we'll address that as we go along in the designing process. So with that, we're going to go ahead and prep it, and we're going to take a camera shot of this, and then we're going to start designing uh, from the other side of the viewport on, on the left side. So with that, let's go ahead and get going. Sit back, grab your, your popcorn, and uh, prepare to be amazed. Now what we've done is we've, once again, we've taken a top-down uh, camera shot of her original piece. Here's the band and here's her engagement piece. And what we've done is we've actually created the other band on the other side, which we will actually bring up in the second picture or image. This one actually is built in with the, the help of the computer, an other band, and the void is where we're actually going to be setting her husband's diamonds. Now let's go ahead and set those diamonds. These were from his wedding band once again. So these were engineered so that they set real nice into the band. And here, which was quite nice, said she wanted to be able to add contrast. Because of the white diamonds and the yellow metal, she thought maybe if we can bring out a little bit more of the diamond white color and we, uh, it would actually enhance and become more brilliant within this area. So what we did is we added in some beads that hold the diamonds together, but we did the beads in white gold, not yellow. So it actually helps create an illusion for these diamonds, almost like it's one big row of diamonds. So from here, this is the finished piece of her two-piece wedding set with the added diamond wedding band. 